Okay, so I'm gonna do a, a video on how to change out this heater heater core bypass tube or hose or whatever whatever you want to call it. It's back here. Um, it's leaking right where it makes the connection with the thermostat housing right here. It seems to be a, a common problem that's on many uh, second generation early second second generation Tacoma so I'm going to show you guys how to change that out okay so I'm going to start by removing this piece here I'm going to start at this bolt and work my way around clockwise removing all the necessary pieces I do have a vacuum hose that's on this end here, so I'm just going to disconnect that. Okay, so just a review. There's really three bolts that are just holding this thing in. There's one here, one here, and one here. So on this drawing, there's the three bolts. So then as you go around, there's a bolt harness a bolt another bolt there's a uh, wiring harness that connects here as well as a vacuum line that connects there um, there's another vacuum line that connect connects there this connects the throttle body right here and then there's another vacuum line that connects there remove the throttle body there's two bolts here and two nuts on studs. So on two sides again, you have bolts, and on the other two sides you have studs with nuts on them. So I, I disconnected this harness right here, so it made it easier to just set this aside up here. So now this is now, the throttle body is now removed. You can get in here and now remove um, this bolt here, and that's the whole idea. Okay, so I've removed this harness here, which is this connector, that harness, we get focus, that harness there, that, bolt. that bracket, so there's one bolt there, this harness here. Okay, so I got this vacuum line disconnected here. Um, didn't need to take that bolt out. There's a clip that just holds those lines in place. So now I'm going to remove the uh, fuel lines here. And then once the fuel lines are removed, then we're going to go in and take the intake manifold bolts each out. You have these three at the top, all the same size, each has a washer, and then you have two at the bottom, they're both the same size, they have no washer, and then on the outside you have just bolts, or just nuts, um, that go into studs. Alright, so now with the, the manifold loose, there's just one vacuum hose that's back here that needs to be taken off, and then... It is free and clear. So there, that's a good shot. So that's the vacuum hose that you have to disconnect right there. Okay, so with the manifold removed, the only way I think it's gonna come out is if these hoses 
are removed. This line goes up to the throttle body. So that goes on that little peg right there. So then there's a bolt that holds this in here. And on this side, there's two nuts right there. So if you made it this far into the video, thank you for watching. I'm not the best blogger or YouTuber. I just had a basic cell phone making this video. I'm also not the best mechanic. So I'm just, you know, your regular guy here uh, doing this job. And it, to get to this point, it roughly took me about three, four hours. I was taking my time. But if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If um, you like the video, like the video. Uh, don't forget to see part two to this where I changed the radiator hoses, heater core hoses, and change out the thermostat and uh, reassemble the whole thing.